us honoring our flag and our anthem uh, is part of what binds us together as a nation. And I think that for me, for my family, for those who work in the White House, uh, we recognize what it means to us, but also what it means to the men and women who are fighting on our behalf. Um, but I'm also always trying to remind folks that part of what makes this country special is that we respect people's rights to have a different opinion and to make different decisions about how they want to express their concerns. And the test of our fidelity to our Constitution, to freedom of speech, to our Bill of Rights, is not when it's easy, but when it's hard. We fight sometimes so that people can do things that we disagree with. But that's what freedom means in this country. And so you know, my hope would be that uh, as this debate surfaces, we're always reminding ourselves that uh, you know, in, in a democracy like ours, there are going to be a lot of folks who do stuff that we just don't agree with. But as long as they're doing it within the law, then we can voice our opinion objecting to it, but it's also their right. And uh, you know, I think that it's also important for us to recognize that um, sometimes out of these controversies, we start getting into a conversation and I want everybody to listen to each other. So I want Mr. Kaepernick and others who are on a knee, I want them to listen to the pain that that may cause somebody who, for example, had a spouse or a child who was killed in combat and why it, it hurts them to see somebody not standing. Um, but I also want people to th think about the pain that uh, he may be expressing about somebody who's lost a loved one that they think uh, was unfairly shot. And, you know, one of the things I always say about uh, American democracy is it can be frustrating, but it's the best system we got. 